Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. Ahead, I want to talk to you about the Lakers and if they have their, already have their 3 and D wing defender that they've been searching for. But before we get started, I want to remind you to like and subscribe to this podcast and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when Team Sports is uploading new content. Well, let's get right to it. Alfonso McKinney. He has been sitting on the Lakers bench. And from the time that they drafted him, I mean, not drafted him, but traded for him for JaVel McGee, I felt after doing some research, I remember him playing with Golden State. I went back to some of his highlights and I saw that he's a pretty good, decent defender. He has, he's, has length. He's about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, he has length. And he's not a knockdown shooter, but he can he can hit the three at a pretty good percentage. And uh, so knowing that he was there and, and the roster and how deep that uh, the Lakers appeared to be um, early on in the season, it, it I didn't see where he could get run. But as the season was going on, and we see the struggles that they have been having, especially with Anthony Davis out, with wing defenders, and knocking down open three pointers. Uh, you will wonder. I was wondering why he hasn't gotten the opportunity, and uh, especially with the way uh, Matthews been playing, um, he's been really, really struggling. It doesn't seem like he really fits with this team. Maybe he could turn it around in the second half. But McKinney finally got his opportunity against Sacramento Kings uh, the night when LeBron James sat out and although they lost that game he was one of the bright spots for me with, that I saw I mean I watched him defensively rotate to be in the right places to, content, to, to contest shots you know, to get rebounds uh, he, 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 he knocked down a few uh, a couple of three pointers I believe it was like at least two uh but, and he's, he attacks the basket. And to me, it seems to me that he can give more than what Matthews give. I think Matthews kind of deceive us a lot with his hustle. And it's not really hustle. It's just he's active, but it's not productive. Because uh, for him to, to quote unquote be a defensive stopper, wing stopper, um, I watch him night in and night out get torched. Uh, his defense is not really, uh, maybe it used to be, but here in, in Los Angeles, this season, his, his defense is not really all that. So I'm asking, is McKinney the 3 and D wing that the Lakers have been looking for all along and he's sitting right there on, his, on their bench? Um, I would... From what i seen so far, and I know it was just one game, but that one game showed me that he can offer more than what Matthew's been giving them. Um, CP, uh, uh, um, uh, called, uh, called, um, Pope, he's been struggling, but he's he's already tested. He, he struggled a little last year, but by the time playoffs started, he was ready. So um, unless a, a, a lot of the fans is, is crying for a big trade and I really don't see that happening and I think they have what they need already there I just think that they need that athletic uh, uh, defensive center that can uh, get that vertical jump for the offensive wise and to block some shots and rebound I, I, I believe they'll be just fine when they get an Anthony Davis back and Give McKinney a couple, uh, some, some more minutes, and I believe that they'll be just fine. And by the time playoffs start, I think his minutes will go up even higher because I, 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 I believe that they already have what they need there. And there's no way in the world, if I could see it, that they don't see it. And uh, you know, it's a marathon, so I believe that the Lakers uh, 
we'll make that adjustment in the second half of the season get him into that rotation and um somehow at at that next player but i don't think that they need to waste too much unless it's a big name for a different three and d player because i believe they have it already sounds crazy but they don't need a big name they just need role players to come in and do their job and uh not a name you know off your name and what you used to do is you have to actually do it and to me matthews is a name and we're looking for him to do something that he used to do i just don't think he fits in with this team right now at least i can tell that by the first half of the season there's no knock on him it's just sometimes this happens but um next man up i believe that mckinney needs to get some of that time and i believe he'll do well um Again, this is Team Sports, the podcast. Just want to share that with you right quick. A little update uh, on the Lakers roster. We know that they uh, they don't have much money to make any free agent signings anyway because of the cap. Unless it's a trade and the people that were on the roster that you would want it, that would possibly be willing to give up. Um, they don't make that much money anyway. So what would you be? What what could you actually get back in the trade for what you're pushing out and and giving away a young player like THT? I don't see it. So you you Laker fans, you, you need to relax. I believe that we already have what we need and and on the roster and except for that center that that come in and do a little of what McGee and Dwight Howard brings. Again, so so far from what I see. The Lakers have their 3 and D wing player they, right now. And uh, you tell me what you think. I know my people don't think much of McKinney because he's not a big name. But the Lakers, like I told you before, the Lakers don't need a big name. They just need players to, to, to plug in and do what they do best and what you specialize in. And I believe McKinney specializes in, in solid defense and knocking down open shots. I believe he can get that done, and he's long. So, y'all gotta have a y'all have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the podcast, uh, and talk to you real soon. Peace.